Hey guys, this is Lucas with Carolina Fitness Equipment. Back with a couple Kaiser bikes here today. We're gonna to be looking at refurb. Um, we do all of our own refurb in-house now. Um, in the past, we really didn't, and we're just um, about a year into now doing everything in-house. It's, it's kind of cool. We got everything from bikes, ellipticals, treadmills, to I mean, even strength pieces that we can do in-house now, where we'll strip it down to frame, sandblast it, you know, an entire paint layer along with enamel so that it won't chip, and then uh, replace all the wear parts too on a lot of these bikes. Treadmills, ellipticals, they really need it because they'll just they'll start to wear out. And then you got yourself a pretty much brand new piece of machinery. Um, and a lot of times we warranty it at that point too. So I'm just gonna delve into that a little bit and show you kind of the process and also show you uh, the finer points of what we actually do. So all the way here at the bottom of the frame, um, you, on a lot of these units, especially when they're um, five, six years older and plus, um, they'll get a lot of rust on them. So down at the bottom you have, in the crevices here, you'll have a lot of rust um, that'll build up. And I mean, it's kind of, <laughs> creepily enough, it's, most of it's just sweat. Um, a lot of times people are like, well, this wasn't outside. Well, it's not really being outside. It's literally just it corroding um, over years of not being cleaned and being sweat on all those years. Um, especially these clips, they will really rust out over time. Um, and after maybe about three or four years of them rusting out, you won't be able to clip your um, SPD um, foot shoes in anymore. Um, the other hard part too is the cranks will start to rust out. Um, but then you'll also see things like the flywheel start to oxidize. Um, it's nothing that will actually impair the unit, but it's cosmetically it definitely looks like it's you know older and older when it does that. Over time, the oxidation will get worse and worse, and then it just starts to affect the unit, but right now it still won't affect it too, too much. So this is where we're taking off the shrouds on the top of the Kaiser right here. It's kind of showing you guys this is where a lot of that sweat will, again, still build up. Um, it's not terrible and you'll never see anything like this, but this is where um, a completely stripped down Kaiser, we're gonna go through and sandblast all this. So again, it's literally like having a brand new Kaiser bike. Um, and this is the exact same thing where you have all this dust, um, rust and grime that we'll kind of clean up, um, as well as on the top of this right here. This slides out and you'll have a lot of rust right here as well. Um, that kind of hides and um, we clean out every little piece of this, so we're very thorough. Um, even down to the console, where we'll take off the console, clean it out. Um, if we need to replace the batteries, do it. If we need to even replace the console, we will. So this is a bike that we had fully refurbished, stripped it down to frame, completely gutted, repaired all the, replaced all the wear parts. You know, with a bike like this, it literally feels like a brand new bike. It's going to look as close to factory new as we can possibly get it. Everything's going to be as close to factory new as possible. Um, we have new SPD um, clips on these. Those are really, really expensive, but it's definitely something we pride ourselves on quality-wise. One thing I was going to mention too is you can actually see on this unit, you know, this has definitely got some scuffs on the um, magnetic resistance cap. I'm not exactly sure the exact term there, but with things like both the cap and the flywheel, you can definitely see there's some scuffs on it. Um, on both of those, we typically don't replace them or paint them, typically just because it's so costly to replace them with a uh, chrome or uh, stainless steel finish. For more information on our products, visit us at www.carolinafitnessequipment.com. We're going to be relaunching our website in about three months from now, so look out for that. It's going to be a really cool redesign with our real-time updated inventory platform, as well as links to our Facebook page, Instagram, and YouTube pages.